and welcome to another very special podcast right here on Following the Nerd. I am your host, Todd Black, and we are joined once again by the team of the amazing Doctor Who Legacy video game. I am joined by Susan and Lee Cummings. Thanks for coming back, guys. Hello, thanks for having us. Hi, thanks for having us, yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know, and seriously, this is like the third or fourth podcast we've done with these guys, so I don't know how you don't know. They're, they are the creators of Doctor Who Legacy, which is a mobile video game which you can also play on Facebook and other platforms that is the biggest fan service to Doctor Who ever and is officially sponsored and you know helped run by BBC and Doctor Who. It has every Doctor, nearly every companion. It features major storylines and original content. This is a perfect fix for Doctor Who fans, especially this year when we have no new episodes except the Christmas special. How is that fair to us? How? <laughs> We're going to try and make up for it, really. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. fill gaps in with gameplay. <laughs> and actually, it's one of the main reasons you guys are here today, because you guys have a lot of new content to talk about. So I'll just turn over to you. What do, we, what do both uh, regular players and new uh, gamers have to look forward to in Doctor Who Legacy? Well, it's Easter weekend. Maybe we should talk about Easter first. Sure, yeah. Because okay. right now you can hunt down the five different adipose in the game and capture them. Okay. Um, over the Easter weekend. So, so five levels that were pre-existing have uh, changed slightly, and now the final wave is an Easter egg, a giant Easter egg or two that you have to, to break, so to speak, and out pops one of the adiposes. If you don't have the adiposes, you can collect all five adipose. Uh, they guarantee to drop. You don't have to grind for them. So that's a really fun thing that we did that Google asked us to do for Google Play. And we have new Easter gems, and we have a big Easter sale on. So that's a Huge sale going on all weekend. And we've added, and as part of the sale, we've added uh, all the stuff that we did for the most recent Season 9 as a big pack bundle that you can get in the game. Wow. So, yeah, so lots of stuff going on. Oh, it should be noted, I forgot to mention that this game is free. They keep mentioning, you know, on sale and you can buy it. But this game is free to play and you get a whole bunch of stuff. But if you want that extra mile, you can, you know, purchase certain things. So Exactly. There are like 100 hours of content you can play through for free. It's um, true. It, Trust yeah. me. If you want to support the game, help us keep doing it. There, you know, there are opportunities to support the game, and uh, we've done a bunch of those things this year. So Christmas, like going back a little bit, uh, was that awesome Husbands of River Song episode, which is one of my favorite Christmas specials. Me too. And, yeah, and what we did, and this was like fans asked us to do this on on our Twitch broadcast. They wanted us to do like a deeper dive into Husbands of River Song than we can usually do. So we actually did a pack that actually plays rather faithfully through the episode of Husband's River Song and lets you collect loads of River Song costumes and Capaldi costumes and new characters like the uh, uh, Hydroflax costumes for Nardal and things like that. Um, so you collect all that stuff and unlock that as a Husband's River Song pack. So that was kind of how we started out the year, and that was really neat, and we're looking forward to doing that with more sort of fan-favorite episodes. And then... And now we're leading into the Trickster event. Well, just kicked off the Trickster event, which yeah. is... Uh, over the next few weeks, the Trickster from the Trickster the only, Brigade, the Trickster Brigade, the only sort of entity that's been in Sarah Jane, Tortured, and Doctor Who, is coming to Legacy. Is wow. using, using the chaos of uh, what's going on in our storyline to start wielding some power in the game. Uh, so we've had a new chunk of storyline which is just unfolded, uh, which we've written in conjunction with the Brown team, and that seems uh, sees the Trickster coming into the world, so you can play the past, future, and present levels. Uh, in a special area, which plays through the story. And now every week, a bunch of levels in the game are being messed around with by the trickster. And every week for the next six weeks, a new drop is coming to the game, a new trickster pack of allies who are getting together, and then at the end, we're going to have a big trickster boss fight at the end of the six weeks. So a few things to keep in mind. So like all of these kids, the, the, the trickster team, which is made up of the 10th Doctor and Perry, uh, who just joined the game, and uh, Zygon and the TARDIS and Sabra and Sarah Jane um, are basically the trickster team. So there are two ways to get them. Um, you can play through over the next five, six weeks, and they're going to drop guaranteed each week. It's a different one, and you can collect them and level them up like you usually do. There's also a trickster character pack that we put out for a few bucks, um, which is for those who are impatient to get them all. It they comes pre-leveled. So they're, they're all rank six. Yeah, and you get your full team. So that's in the game right now. Um, and then what happens each week, and we have a, on our website, we have a track the trickster page uh, where you can see what's going on each week. Some of the levels are going to be warped, some of them are cracked, some of them have been rewritten, some of them are in pure chaos, and these are all existing levels in the game. So by the end of this event, there are going to be like 70 levels that are just different than they used to be. Yeah, each prefix means something different. So some levels have cracks of time added to them, some have uh, 
some time beetles in there from Turn Left, another entity from the Trickster Brigade, messing with the flow of the level. Sometimes your whole team is taken over by the Trickster. Yeah, so so fun, messy, roundy stuff. Plus bonus XP in some of the levels and bonus fragment drops and two new fragments which drop that don't haven't dropped before. No, past and future fragments. Which lets you add stat points to characters, even though even if they were maxed out. So it's kind of a way, level. like if you have a favorite character, you can like totally make them like uber and beyond anything else because you can start plunking stat points into them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so lots, you, lots of fun in the game. If you can't hear, dear readers, if this is an incredible amount of detail for one event. <laughs> this isn't even touching the <laughs> other stuff that we're, we're getting ready to talk about, okay? It's yeah. like, this is this is what I love about Doctor Who Legacy, and what's really got me hooked early in the beginning is the details. I mean, from the dialogue, which is you know pure to the characters, to the all the enemies and everything. You guys don't go halfway. You go full on, you know, bigger on the inside, you know, kind of gameplay. You know, it's you know, oh, it's a simple gem slotting game. No, it's not. It is so much <laughs> harder than that. You know, and, so much more than that. And, and, and that's what I love about this. And I know that's why, you know, you guys have like all these players who are so faithful to you. And hopefully I'll get you a few more with this, this podcast because when a person like you, when, or people like you guys are, are so true to this a franchise that we, we love, it makes you want to play it. You know, I, I got this, played this game because of my talk with you guys the first time. And, you know, I was like, okay, this could be cool. And then it was like, bam, I'm 40 hours. And I'm like, Oh wow, this is <laughs> wow, this is so much. I mean, like, are, are we sure this isn't an actual Doctor Who arc or something? It's just like, Thanks. man. I mean, yeah. and again, just hearing you talk about like the 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 trickster event. You know, you mentioned like all these characters. You know, like Perry, who just came in, who you know was a key member for the, some of the Doctors, and then you know Sarah Jane, and you got the Tenth Doctor. And it's just like this is like time overload <laughs> and we have so so many of these classic doctor who actors are starting to play our game like like uh perry nicola bryan's been like super active on twitter with us and she's got her kids playing the game and it's really neat um getting a lot of the classic doctor who actors you're all still so active with the doctor community like to see this they're they're just blown away by how much depth there is in the game and how much we're doing with classic doctor who as well as modern doctor who and stuff so it's really gratifying you know when, when people know that they never expected perry to be in a video game <laughs> Realistically, at this point, and we're about to add an autograph version of uh, Perry to the game. She got us her her signature because we have this the signature series, Todd. Right? If you know about, I we recall. Have... I do recall that. Yes. Yeah. So the signature series, we actually collected these autographs from actors. So we've got Colin Baker, we've got Nicola Bryant, we've got Joe Grant. Um... We just got Osgood at Gallifrey One. Yeah, we got, oh, Os we got Osgood. Wow. Yeah, just added her. Actually, she was the most recent signature character. Um, yeah, so that's been really neat. And then Perry's coming next for that. So that's that's sort of the, the big thing happening right now. And then going forward over the next month or two, we've got a couple big things going on. We've got we're gonna be adding something called unit missions. And um, this is a thing that is going to sort of reward you for coming back a lot to the game and playing because we have people who have been so faithfully playing for so long. And it's going to be a way of helping you to complete your collection. So what the unit missions do is they are going to dynamically give you a mission, a unit extraction mission when you get into the game. And it's going to point you to a level and the drop from that level will be, will, you'll actually have a much higher rate of dropping so that you can start collecting some of the characters that you're missing. And if you have all the characters, I think it's also going to be able to help you to collect fragments and stuff like that too. So that's really neat. It's yeah, it'll give you some focus when you log in. Yeah. It's a nice everyday different thing to go do before you start grinding through levels. Framed and... around the Brigadier and Kate Stewart sending you off on missions. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So that's coming. And, um... and then the next big thing after all this is Bigger on Inside Chapter 1. So we, we released Bigger on Inside Prologue um, last year with the Pixel Who team. Our, I recall. And the amazing Pixel artists who we met. Uh, that's amazing. And then we decided for the next big chapter, we got George Mann in who wrote Engines of War and writes the Titan Eighth Doctor yeah. comics. And so and one of the reasons we brought him in is because the, the chapter is focused on the Eighth Doctor and the War Doctor, which like he knows better than most. So he's written this amazing arc. It's an Eighth Doctor, War Doctor arc with some of their companions from the comic book, Grace coming back, uh, Gallifrey in general. It's great. It's an amazing story uh, and, and with a huge flashback to the Time War. And the great thing about George is he's a hardcore fan of the game. Um, and we realized this when, when he wrote the intro to Cinder uh, a couple of Christmases ago. 
um, that he actually uh, clearly played the game because he wasn't sticking with characters that were comfortable to him. He was also like bringing in Jack Harkness and you know c- characters from like the current season of the show, and he did the same thing here. There's like a, a real cross section of different characters because that's what's so wacky about Legacy, right? When you stop to think about it, we've jammed like 300 characters into the TARDIS all at the same time. <laughs> you know, so if you start there are a lot of interesting voices going on at once. And so it's fun when we get a story that really embraces that, that isn't just about a few people, but that really inter- inter- embraces the fact that there are so many characters from different eras all, you know, sort of intersecting at once. Yeah, and it's great. I mean, like, I remember, like, uh, one of the key scenes for me was that, you know, the, the it was when they were still collecting all the doctors and then number nine showed up. Ah. Yeah, and it, it's like, you know, all the time, lords. Zygons, fantastic! <laughs> I, was just like, <laughs> I was like, yep, that's it, right there. So, and you so play it very well. So that's coming next, and then... Uh, and I'll lead into the, I guess I'll be lead into the summer. Chapter 4. Chapter 4, we finally get back to doing our own storyline, push the storyline yeah, forward. Yeah, We're uh, going to start focusing more on single story, uh, single Doctor adventures. The next right? chunk of the Chapter 4 story will wrap up the Master storyline. The BBC, BBC's asked us to wrap that up. And lead, get on to other things because it's been going for about a year and a half now. Well, if you must. <laughs> so we're going we're to wrap that up uh, in a big sort of a big finale, uh, and then and then lead on to new things. Yeah, yeah. we're looking at doing some uh, some more stuff with the Titan Comics guys, some bigger things, the Titan Comics uh, characters, and um, we're hoping to get some some more um, touching on Torchwood, uh, con- considering it's the tenth anniversary of Torchwood. Oh. We have. Some- some things in the works that we're going to try and do for Torchwood later this year. Not, nothing Finger, guaranteed. Fingers though. crossed. Fingers crossed. Something, something for Torchwood. Yeah. Torchwood legacy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're huge Torchwood fans, um, so uh, it would be great to do something with that. You know, the, the Big Finish guys are obviously doing some Torchwood stuff, and we love what the Big Finish guys do, so we definitely want to try and tie into all that, too. All right, whatever, whatever makes you guys happy, and whatever you think will be uh, great game content, power to you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, I, I I joked about this earlier, but you know, um, there's no Doctor Who this year except for the Christmas special, and yet I hear I'm hearing you guys, you know, talk about all this content that you're having. Does this kind of thing just drive you that like the the gap between episodes? Does it, does it just does it just drive you to you know be better with your content, be better with your original content because you know, for many who know that you're, you know, a true Doctor Who thing, you know, this is all they've got, you know? Yeah, and we're cognizant of that for sure. Yeah, every time we do a new bit of content, like we sit down and we, we talk about sort of a chunk of content, we always talk about how it can be different to everything we've done before. Right. Like this, this Trickster event, we've never really done an event that runs over six weeks before. We thought it'd be different to do something that sort of, where the game just changed constantly, you know, through an event. So that was the leading, that, that we've never really worked with an external writer um, in a way that we have on the next chunk of Big on the Inside. So that that's a new thing to us as well. Someone, you know, a situation where we can focus on the gameplay and then George can really focus on the writing to make the whole product a lot better. So it's always, you know, something that, that drives us to make uh, each each chunk different or unique in some way. Then to George's credit, he actually suggested gameplay too, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> George plays he loads of the game. <laughs> he could probably do my job better than me. To be oh, come on. Don't be, don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's been it's been a busy few months and we're looking forward to a, a, a equally busy rest of the year. It's great that it's great for us that we have some breathing room now because normally we'd be sitting around this time of the year already looking at a timeline to the next season. You know, it might be kicking off in sort of September. Yeah. You know, May, June, July, August, you know, it's not far. You know, we'd, we'd start putting things on hold, you know, and, and in time. It really lines. takes up a lot of the year for us, yeah. It is. like hard. It's like six months of the year, you know, from from before I, it and afterwards when we're trying to tidy things up. It's a chunk of work. And considering, you know, all the characters are, are hand-drawn by one very busy artist, um, it really takes up a lot of our bandwidth when we have to focus on, on the new season of the show. So this year it'll be other stuff. You push the story. Oh, oh and hang on a second. Oh, oh. It's the, the 500th um, anniversary oh, of yes. Doctor Who magazine is coming. And, you know, they do the Doctor Who comic. And so they have some characters that they're also big fans of the game. And we've, um, we're going to be doing some stuff for them for the 500th issue. We're going to be adding uh, Absalom Doc to the game and Frobisher. And um, Shade. And Shade, one of their enemies as well, yeah. Um, so that stuff's coming um, in the near term too alongside their, their 500th anniversary. So we're excited about that as well. Mean anniversary issue? 
Yes. Yeah. In, is yeah, it 500th yeah, that's anniversary? That's I'm like, okay, years. that's like the 1500s. I don't think Doctor yeah. Who was a, that long. He yeah. might have been in the 1500s, I'm sure, but you know, 500 issues. That's a long time. <laughs> it is. I mean, there's comics that never even get close to that, you know. So, you know, props uh, to props to Doctor Who magazine. Yeah. So we have a busy, busy year ahead of us for a little company. Yeah. But I mean, you're making it work, and I mean, the the what. Yeah. I've I've seen you know the comments about how you know how awesome it is. I, I see people tweeting a lot about you know, oh I got my character to the sixth rank and oh I got, finally got this character and everything and it's clear you guys are making an impact on the Doctor Who community and you know it's only going to keep growing as you know time goes on whether it be through the original content whether it be through the episode missions or you know like. The, like that Christmas special with uh, River Songs, the husbands of River Song, we had like a director's cut and everything. It's just, you know, you're there, you're there for us. And it really feels like it in a way that you know it's it's you know it's gratifying in a way we couldn't have expected. You know, we we go to Gallifrey One every year and we're involved in lots of other events and we just you know Gallifrey One, uh, our third Gallifrey One just happened and it was it was so cool to see how um, going from the first year where hardly anybody knew us because we had just shipped the game literally yeah. months before and now everybody knew us it was like what like nine out of ten people came by right oh now. yeah yeah and, and the room was three quarters full for our, our little our panel panels. Yeah. yeah it was great it was really nice so um, and everyone everyone loved it like who's playing this game for everyone's hands shot up in the room yeah, yeah. it's awesome so that was that was kind of fun to see that we've actually managed to get the word out in that kind of that kind of way yeah. that's that's incredible, and I uh, wish you nothing but success. Anything else you guys want to pitch to to the fans, both uh, returning and possibly new? No, you know, we're, we're always out there trying to talk to the community. If anyone has questions, for Twitter, Facebook, we have a newsletter we, that Susan puts together weekly with wow. lots and lots of love. Yes. Uh, you know, which isn't spammy. We just talk about the game, keep everyone in the loop of what's going on. Yeah. yeah our so Twitch broadcast continues to be awesome every Twitch week. every week. Come say hi. We give stuff away. You know. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah and we'll, part of the music. Yeah, and we'll have a links to everything below so that people can uh, go awesome. check you guys out. Awesome, well, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, thanks for having us on. Oh, it's it's always a pleasure talking it's with you pleasure. guys. Too. I mean, just again, I'm I love Doctor Who Legacy, and I I love the passion you guys have for Doctor Who. I mean, it's obviously why you made this game, and you know. You keep going bigger, you keep going better, and you keep having more fun, and that of course means more fun for us fans. So. Uh, thank you for that. Awesome. Uh, I hope that. I mean, I know I'm, I'm still sad about the Doctor Who gap, but if it actually helps you guys, I, I'll consider that a, a good, <laughs> a good side effect of it. You know, because oh, know. there can't be a vacuum in the Doctor Who sort of canon sphere. Like there'll be the stuff to fill this up. Yeah, like the community will fill this up. Yeah, class will fill it up. There'll be excitement about the Christmas stuff. You know, it'll it'll fly by. All right. So I think so. For All sure. right. Well. If this talk hasn't gotten you interested, I'm just going to say it again. Play Doctor Who Legacy. All right? It's fun. It is pure Doctor Who bliss, and there is so much to do. Like, I got 100 hours of content. I guarantee you that's a very long 100 hours. It's not like, oh, let me set a stopwatch on this. No, it's not going to. It's definitely not like that. My, my, my lack of time crystals will, t- will, 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 con- will confirm that statement. Uh, so on behalf of the uh, Tiny Rebel Games? I always forget that. Tiny Rebel Games? Tiny, Tiny Rebel Games, yeah. Yes, I, I always want to say press. I'm like, that's not right. They're not press. They're gamers. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so on behalf of uh, Susan and Lee and all the people who work on uh, Doctor Who Legacy, I thank you for listening to this podcast. Check out Doctor Who Legacy. We have all the links below. Uh, let them know what you want for possible future content. They're always ready to listen. And I hope to see you all around.